Now, if you eggs cannot behave yourselves, I'm gonna separate you. Oh, hi, Chef Steph here in Florida, visiting with my parents, missing New Zealand, missing my friends and uh, co-workers on board ship, and of course, missing all of you. But I thought today, since I have to do some baking that requires me to separate eggs, that in today's essential cooking lesson, I could give you an extra bit of information. So we're gonna separate some eggs. There's heaps of ways to separate eggs. Today I'm gonna to show you four. So we're gonna begin by cracking the egg. Now here's something you may or may not know, and that is that if you crack the egg on the side of the bowl, you run the risk of pushing the shell into the egg. So it's far better to crack the egg on a flat surface. Now. For this first way to separate an egg, I'm just going to break the shell in half and I'm going to rock the egg back and forth, letting the white drop down into the bowl and just catching the yolk in the shell. And that is my first method for separating an egg. The next method is the one I prefer. It's far easier as far as I'm concerned. And that is again, to break the egg on a flat surface and this time, not from way up high, but actually way down low in the bowl, open the shell and let the entire egg drop into the bowl. Then, using the shell, you can just scoop out the yolk. And for me, that's a much easier method. The third method is a way that is done very often in restaurants and that is to use your hand like a sieve. So again, breaking the egg, and this time letting it just run through your fingers so that the whites go down into the bowl and the yolk stays caught in your fingertips to be nicely separated. My last method is a little bit of fun. Nothing wrong with that. So again, we're going to break the egg and again, down all the way low in the bowl, break the whole egg in. And this time, we're going to use a plastic water bottle. I'm gonna squeeze the bottle, hold it over the yolk, release it, and let it suck the yolk right up and in. Nice and easy and lots of fun. And then plunk into the bowl it goes. So now we have separated our eggs in four different ways. That makes you an egg spurt. You could, of course, if you need another way, put one in the living room and one in the dining room. That's it for now. Thanks so much. Hope it wasn't too egg excruciating. I look forward to seeing you folks on board again soon in the Culinary Center. Meanwhile, here's wishing you smooth sailing and delicious adventures from Chef Steph.